Hey, good job. You found the next marker. Now, shh. Hear that? That's the sound of the sneezing monkey. It's a very unique species, and they're amazing to watch. Now we're going to have to look high up in the trees. Let me see if we can find some. Yeah, I hear them. I think I see them over there. Check it out. The sneezing monkey has only been discovered by scientists in the past five years. People who live nearby them, the locals, they say that you can find the sneezing monkey by the sound that it makes. It's from their upturned noses. Water gets into their nostrils when it rains, and then they start sneezing. In fact, on rainy days, they actually sit with their heads tucked between their legs to stop the water from getting into their noses. Now, I actually have a video of the sneezing monkey that a friend of mine shot. Check it out. The mothers have just one baby each every two or three years. It's too harsh here to support more. The other mothers and the father need to help. In a family of six adults, these two half-brothers should both be well looked after. But cameraman Jackie Poon notices one is neglected. Each mother treats her babies very differently. One is great and one is really hopeless. She keeps leaving her baby behind. Maybe she's inexperienced. I don't know. It's like she can't really believe that she's a mother now. Luckily, the rest of the family helps her and looks after the baby as well. The other mothers even provide milk. You know, it made all the difference to the baby monkey in the video you just saw that the other monkeys took him in. And you know, we really should do the same. When we see a need that someone has, we should try to help them out with whatever we have, whatever God has given us. See, it's really loving them the way that Jesus did. In fact, Jesus said in John 15, 12, my command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Now, how much does Jesus love us more than anyone else? Jesus gave his life for you and for me. And so we should love others with that deep kind of love that Jesus has. Now, that's your next letter, the letter L for love. We should love others the way that Jesus does. Write that down, the letter L.